Hello, you are welcome to Express Updates. My name is Yaira Awuno. Stay tuned. In our first story, the 2024 Ghana Civil Service Week celebration and the 2023 award ceremony under the theme Combating Threats to Sub-Regional Peace and Security, Perspectives of the Civil Service, has officially been launched today, Wednesday, April 24, 2024, and will end on Friday, May 3, 2024. The celebration began today with a float and later a press launch inaugurated by the head of civil service, Dr. Evans Agredako. Speaking on the sidelines of the press launch, the head of civil service, Dr. Evans Agredako, charged all civil servants to work hard to help the nation to develop. My charge is that the civil service staff have, you know, have a unique role to play. And our service is a service on the hill that if we do not deliver, the nation will move forward. So we need a vibrant public bureaucracy that is anchored on a very adaptive, agile, flexible civil service that is firing on all cylinders so the nation can develop. That's, that's my plan. He also shared his belief in the Ministry of Energy's ardent response to tackling the current intermittent power outages occurring in the country. He is certain that the Energy Ministry will do their best to resolve the problem. When the Ministry of Energy is responsible, and I'm certain that uh, even even whatever whatever challenges that we have, they will be able to deal with it. Um, Ghana is a very resilient country. We had had, if you look at the way we tackle COVID, and we, we even though we had some casualties, uh, we are rated as one of the finest and the best in terms of the management of the COVID. Uh, we know that even during the COVID, we have critical civil service staff who are coming to work just to put push the administrative machinery of the state you know uh, going so that the state will not collapse literally so wherever there are difficulties uh, i am very confident that we'll be able to surmount it's just a matter of re reconfiguration and rededication and that's why i'm reminding all of us that this is a nation that we have let us rededicate ourselves to the cause of this nation in your own small way if you have been given any mandate at all you need to contribute to the larger mandate by performing you know, excellently well. That way, we can collectively. An approximate of 32% decrease in mortality rate among children has been recorded by the Ghana Health Service for the first quarter of the year 2024. This revelation was made at the launch of the 2024 African Vaccination and Child Health Promotion Week under the theme Healthy Childhood, Invest in Your Child for a Better Future, on Tuesday, April 23, 2024, in Accra. Speaking at the launch, the Director General of the Ghana Health Service, Dr. Patrick Kuma Abwaje, commended the Ghana Health Service for the implementation of health interventions like vaccination campaigns, counseling services, among other initiatives, asserting that these initiatives played a major role in attaining the total decrease. Executive Secretary of the Côte d'Ivoire Ghana Cocoa Initiative, Mr. Alex Asanvo, says the interest of cocoa farmers in both countries is essential. Hence, there is a need for more to be done to actualize an ideal compensation for the toil and sweat of cocoa farmers. During a panel discussion at the ongoing World Cocoa Conference, the Executive Secretary indicated that the negligence had for some time hampered on the effective implementation of policies and programs, including the living income differential for the benefit of farmers and he said a lack of trust consistency and stability in all aspects of arrangements among the various key stakeholders in the global cocoa value chain has resulted in excessive demands from buyers on producing countries he therefore advised that there is a need for accountability and transparency from all stakeholders for the benefit of the farmers as well Thank you for joining us here on Express Updates. My name is Yaira Awuno. Do enjoy the rest of our programs.